Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Aquarius. I hope you guys are all doing great. Sending all of you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius and it will not resonate with every Aquarius cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. And if Cup's already showing its face here, somebody could be walking away from something here. But anyways, let's get back into the intro. Um, what was I going to say? Don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. Um, and personal readings are open. Email me if you're interested in being um, put on the wait list for that. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to check out the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome. Come on, come on. Aquarius. What does my Aquarius collective need to know? He's walking away or emotionally withdrawing. Possibly from a marriage. Two of Wands and going in a different direction here. The Chariot. Very determined to do so. Cancer energy. Yeah, Six of Swords. Moving on. Making progress. The Magician, Aries energy. Five of Swords. The Hanged Man, Pisces energy. And Seven of Swords. Oh, goodness. Somebody could maybe be trying to plot or strategize how to leave a marriage here, guys. Or leave a long-term commitment or obligation. Um, and they're doing it in secret. Okay? Um, the World. Libra energy. Yeah, something's coming to an end here. Somebody's walking away from something. It's like somebody finally feels like maybe they have the ability to walk away from something. Before, they didn't feel like they had the ability to do so, but now they do feel like they can go in a different direction. I feel like there's been a lot of conflict in a relationship or situation here, so now they're wanting to walk away from this. The chariot, the hanged man. They were like taking a break or taking a pause or they really have thought this through. They were really taking some time to really think things through. But now they're taking action here, strategizing to close out a cycle. The world, the queen of pentacles could be with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, seven of wands in reverse, eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody was like refusing to walk away from something. Yeah, and free themselves. Two of cups. It looks like it was a relationship. It was not even a, really a relationship anymore. It was like something that maybe had already ended, but they hadn't completely walked away from it. All right. Um, Seven of Pentacles. They were still invested in it to some degree. Maybe money was an issue. Yeah, the Emperor, Aries Energy, the Hierophant. Yeah, maybe they were staying in a situation because of money. Yeah, that was what was keeping them from making a decision about how to proceed with this. But they're no longer being, you know, silent or they're no longer not taking action. They're 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 actually progressing and doing this now. Ace of Cups. It's what's fueling this is that somebody wants to be able to part work into some type of new beginning in love. Right for right and right now they're not really able to. All right. So let's see here. So this could be a this could be a um case of like they're sub they've been separated from this person for quite some time, but they still maybe um money's an issue for why they haven't been able to take them to court, or they, they have to pay this person money, or they, they have children together, so they have to pay this person to support their children or something here. They're still or they just haven't divorced this person yet. Ten of Pentacles, death, yes. A, a, a marriage or a long-term situation is coming to an end here. It's an inevitable end. It probably already has come to an end is what I'm Spirit's telling me. It's already over and done with, okay? Um, yeah, playfulness. They're not taking that situation seriously anymore. The Magician, good news. All right, and the Relocation. What does this have to do with boundaries? Yeah, I see that somebody is going to finally, like, somebody feels like they have the the means or the ability to put an end to this now. Maybe somebody's getting a getting word or news about something, about being able to relocate or about a new job that's going to cause them to have to relocate. Or they're going to be setting boundaries. 
What does this have to do with the magician? Hot mess. It's like they're getting a situation under control that they felt like before they weren't able to do that. Okay, like it was very like undecided all over the place. But now they feel like they have the means and the ability to do so. They're going to stand their ground. They're going to stick up for themselves. They're not going to surrender. Maybe they were letting like the other per like they were, they were kind of just letting things happen. Now they're going to direct how things happen in this situation. Okay. Divine timing has been at play. All right. Two of wands. Yeah. The divine has been nudging this person to do what's best for them. Do what's best for their highest good. What's going to make them happy. And it would be to go in a different direction. Yeah. To leave this situation behind. Cut off all communication they maybe feel like they lack closure in this situation to some degree or that somebody really needs the divine has been nudging this person to come into alignment with who they're really supposed to be all right because this person hasn't been going down their divine path or their faded path they've been just kind of letting things happen a bystander in their own life the spirits definitely has been trying to say that this person needs to walk away from a situation or cut off communication or set some type of firm boundaries here. Five of Swords. Okay. Yeah, it's like things are done. Like the dust has settled, but it's like they haven't completely transitioned or moved on from another situation yet for whatever reason. Ooh. But think about this. What's this love mean for my boredom? They want love in their life. There's no love left in this situation. They want true love to come into their life. They know that it's not this past situation. So what does this have to do with my Aquarius viewers? Sadness and poor health. What does that have to do with my Aquarius? Love offer and fragmented. This you're so you're you're confused. You guys are a little bit confused by this person, okay? This person says that they want love. You, this person says that they want a lot of things, okay? But you guys may not see. This person actually showing you that they want these things, okay? Like, things are a little bit confusing between you and this person. Why is this person causing you so much stress and disappointment? They're disappointing you because they're not coming in with this offer. Why are they not offering anything? Or why are they not, their words not matching their actions? Children, so there's children involved and, or this person's just very emotionally immature, Spirit says, if you guys have felt kind of out of the loop or very confused about this person or situation, the situation is going to be gaining. You're going to be gaining clarity about this person and situation. That's what you've been hoping and wishing for. Like this, you, you know that you deserve more than this person was giving you. Why were they not giving it to my Aquarius viewers? Tell me more. Why were they not doing so? Brick wall. They felt like they, they were stuck. They felt stuck. They felt like they were stuck in something they were never going to be able to get out of or resolve. And Spirit says that this was actually being blocked for your highest good. All right. Maybe the timing was wrong. We did have, didn't we just have the divine timing card? We had the, yeah, we have the dice. Spirit says you guys need to spend some time apart alone. Work on yourselves. Heal. Yeah. The chariot. They're blocking this for now. It's like Spirit says if this person were to come towards you right now, they wouldn't, they, you guys would reconcile, but it would just be very lighthearted still. They would still not be able to offer you that solid commitment, that marriage, that engagement, whatever it is that you, that, you know, moving in together, being a family, they would not be able to offer that to you. All right. But I do feel like in the, you guys maybe have a knowing if you listen to your intuition that things are being orchestrated behind the scenes and you and this person will maybe have that opportunity in the future. But for right now, you and this person really need to do some introspection and work on yourselves. All right. The hanged man. Anger. What does this have to do with my Aquarius viewers? Good health. So maybe somebody was very upset or there was a lot of arguing about money. Career. Or somebody, they're arguing with somebody about money and career or they're arguing it with you about money and career. If somebody's been going through some type of financial woes, that's going to be coming to an end. I see their finances improving here. Their overall health improving, okay? Um, six of Swords. Manifestation. Manifestation. 
All right, what about, if you, if that's what this is, things improving, moving into calmer waters. You guys have been trying to manifest for that to happen. And you guys have maybe been hoping that this person will leave the past behind them. Leave that old, that old life or that old person behind. Or that they'll express some type of emotion to you. Or that they'll change. Yeah, that they'll change. And they're finally going to be progressing and doing that. I definitely see that manifesting. Evil eye. But for right now, Spirit's protecting you from this person. Okay? Um, that's probably what I'm going to name this reading. Seven of Swords. Yeah, because there's something weird about this person. Yeah, toxic. They're hiding an addiction from you. Obsession, dependency, materialism, bad finding. It's something to do with money and finances. Their shadow self, they, they're very much in their shadow self. Low vibrational. So that's why Spirit's protecting you from this person. Okay? Yeah, it's the masculine. What about them? And it's like you you were feeling very drawn to this person that was really at this time bad for you. All right? Or they feel very drawn to you even if, you know, you guys are in separation. But Spirit says there is going to be a happy outcome in this situation. Okay? But it's like you need to know your worth. Okay? Why is hidden enemies here? Potential. Why is hidden enemies here? Or hidden. So this person may be hiding their true intentions. Somebody's maybe hiding their true intentions here. Somebody, this person does plan to team up with you or come together with you. They do see potential with you. But they may also know that the timing isn't right for the two of you. So maybe that's why they're not offering it to you. I do see that the divine is with this person. The divine may be telling this person that the timing is not right. All right. Um, it was maybe very hard for them to let you go for now, but they knew that it was the best option or the best thing for you. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, um, share, and subscribe. You can take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. Email me if you're interested in that. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.